welcome to you know our study of you know um linear algebra and i'm gonna say this is one of the interesting part of linear algebra that we are supposed to do you know so we have row spaces and column spaces i'm gonna take an example to take you guys through what row spaces and column spaces means but before that what i would say is um we need to know this, that the dimension of the row space and column space are the same. That is the rank of the matrix that we are looking at. So if you have um, the rank R of a given matrix A, then the dimension of both the row space and then the column space are the same, or R, R. Okay, so what I mean is, you know dimension, because we've talked about dimension and basis before. The dimension is the number of vectors you have in the basis of a given subspace or vector space. So, to know the number of vectors that you need to um, form the basis of your row space or column space, then we need to know the rank of the matrix. Okay? So, now determine the row space and the column space of the given matrix A. To determine this, what we are going to do is to find the rank of this by doing row reduction okay so the first thing is i'm going to swap the row one and row two so row one and row two i'm swapping them when i do that i'm going to have um one zero one two negative one three zero two negative one 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 four um we've gone through row reduction before so i'm going to move very fast here and i'm going to reduce every element beneath that as to go to zero so row one minus one half row two and then row one minus row four root will do for us so this will give us um a matrix of this form one zero one zero positive one half negative one half zero two negative one zero negative one negative three All right so that is what you have for the first step now you go to the next step to reduce so what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply root two by two because i have root two to be in halves here when i do that i'm gonna have um one zero one zero one negative one zero two negative one zero negative one negative three right and the next thing to do is to make sure that i reduce all the element beneath that to be zero i take this as my pivot and then i reduce everything down it to go to zero and like i said we've done this this whole thing before so if you have any confusion you can go through my playlist of this linear algebra lesson and then you can visit them okay so row two minus one half row three will do and then row two plus row four we we'll get these guys to be zero. So I'm gonna have um one zero one zero one negative one zero zero and then the other one is gonna give me negative one half. This is gonna give me zero zero negative four. Okay. Now on the other hand, these are the things you should keep in mind finding the rank of a matrix um reducing it like this what we do is make sure that every pivot point is one and is positive okay so i'm going to multiply the um row three here everything by plus um, negative two so that i get positive one there so negative two times root three will give me a different matrix which is one zero one zero one negative one zero zero one and then zero zero negative four 
again the next pivot so the first pivot was this we made sure that every element beneath that is zero we went to this point and then the next pivot is going to be this one you have to make sure that beneath that one we have zero but originally we have negative four so what we do is again we do the same thing so it's going to be zero three plus um one fourth row four and that's going to give us one zero one zero one negative one zero zero one and here will be zeros now the rank the rank of this matrix here is just the non-zero rows okay so the rows we count them you have one two and then three these form the rank or the number of non-zero rows that we have forms the rank so the rank of this matrix i have here which was matrix a i'm sorry is actually called a three so what it means is that the dimension the dimension of the row space here is three and then the dimension of the column space here is also three actually we've not found the column space and the row space yet what we're doing is Okay, now I need three vectors to form a basis for the row space and then three vectors to form a basis for the column space. The dimension means the number of vectors in the basis. Okay, so now I go to row space. So the row space here, the first thing we can pick will be the non-zero rows we had in the row reduction or the column form. Okay, so we can pick, the first thing we can pick is um, picking um we can pick this whole thing as the basis one zero one zero one negative one and then zero zero one from the reduced matrix okay so this can form um how do i call it a basis for the row space okay so the row space is actually equal to um, row spaces the span of this whole set that i have here one zero one zero one negative one zero zero one and then these will form the basis of it okay or we can pick the rows that correspond to the non-zero rows okay so what i mean is in the first row we have um non-zero row there Row two, we have the same. So row three, we have the same thing. So you go to the original matrix, and so what you're gonna do is the row one, we pick the element here. Row two, we pick the element, and row three, we pick the element there to form a basis for our row space. So, or we can say we have this as a basis: two, negative one, three, one zero, one zero two, negative one to form the basis so the row space actually will be the span of it okay sorry the span of this whole and then the basis are these elements okay and you realize that the vectors we have there are three so that is why we, we first found the dimension of it okay now on the other hand the column space again the dimension is three and the column space is going to be the columns with the pivots okay so what i mean with columns with pivots is that you sit on this column one has a pivot there column two has a pivot and column three has a pivot there so you're going to pick the um vectors in the column vectors in these pivot positions of the original matrix so column one we had a pivot column two we had a pivot and co column three we had a pivot so the um vectors here the set of vectors here will form the basis for the column space okay so the basis here will be um first i'll pick the first column two one zero one and then i pick negative one zero two one three one negative one and then a four so these forms the basis for the column space and again the dimension that is the number of vectors in this basis should be three and it's happening in there so the span 
of this will give you the column space so i hope you understood this right so when you're asked to find the column space or the row space what we mean is just find the basis that will form the span of the whole thing and then when you have the basis the span of the basis will form the column space or the row space i hope you understood this okay so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed we'll talk to each other in our next lesson okay